Hey, what is up guys? This is Den here and welcome to Cambodia. I am currently in Siem Reap, which is my hometown, my city. In fact, this is Kingdom of Wonder. You can see it's around me, full of jungle. I mean, this is the main path. Some local can actually take the motorbike in and out. Um, but without motorbikes, you can hear a very beautiful jungle sound. Like what I'm walking right now is just like beautiful. You can hear the crickets. You can actually hear some birds waking up, hornbills, many things around this area. So the way I'm walking right now is just um, right behind Angkor Wat Temple. Um, it's w one of the most um, visited um, temples um, in the world. Actually, this is like the seventh um, tourist attraction in the world. And it's based in Siem Reap. It's my city, my town. And um, yeah, so it's been great to be back. I know I've been in, in Ireland and the UK for however long, but now I'm back in the cities again. And um, hey, look at this, guys. Look. You see that? That is absolutely phenomenal. And I'm just about, I'm about like 20 meters away from this absolutely wonderful one of the most wonder temple in the world and it's it's been about over 800 years ago that this built this temple has been built and everything is pretty much like almost exactly the same as the way it used to be despite the country has been through many 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 periods of uh, troubles war or whatever it is but this temple it remained almost just the way it is now you ready ta-da <laughs> and um, this is my morning routine and um yeah Don't you look at this? There's mosquitoes here. Wow. Huge guys. I know I've been here many times since I was a kid, after school, riding a bike. Um, spent plenty of times in these buildings. And um, because I was born here and raised here, I don't even know what the story like. I don't even know that how amazing it was because you know I grew up with it and the more that I grew up the, the bigger that I get and um, the more story that uh, that I've, I've heard it becomes absolutely vital so this is the Tanad tree and one of the iconic tree for Cambodians especially like um, the, in fact, they can use this tree. It's very useful. Use um, um, beneficial from that tree, and um, literally, they can just use everything, everything from that tree, from roots all the way to a very, very top um, of the of the leaves. So, it's absolutely useful plant to have, and um, yeah. Have you heard about palm sugar? That is the guy who make palm sugar. Have you heard about like wooden spoon? This is the guy that can actually um, make a wooden spoon. Have you heard about um, the wooden roof? The leaves actually. Have you heard? Have you heard about the palm wine? This is also the guy who can use juice to produce a palm vine like boats you can use a whole tree chop and half 
and making a boat on that. That is wonderful. So to grow this tall, that would have taken about maybe about 50, 70, almost like a decade for that height, even more actually. So very useful. And uh, besides that, look at that. You wouldn't imagine that is one of the most beautiful temples and one of the most unique building on earth. I know a lot of people try to copy, a lot of countries try to copy, like, you know, some other places, countries, but would you like to go to the copy one or spend a bit of time, your own time, to see what it's actually like in these buildings? There's many, 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 like, stories behind this, uh, inside these buildings, lots of curvings which explains all the um, all the stories of different eras, the empires, and um, wars, battles, religious. So whatever whatever you can Im Im imagine, how the countries exist before this building actually built is already on the the curving on uh, um, the stones the curving stones and uh it's been like this for many 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 um decades centuries it's actually huge like massive massive temple and um yeah i can't believe i'm back in this place again and just mind blowing, you know. I am mind blowing right now that I'm literally enjoy living my life here, back to my country. This is my morning routine, you know. I I can go to the gym, but I'm not getting bored walking along this temple yet. And in fact, seeing many many people come to visit every year. That makes me like, wow, you know. My ancestors, they knew that this, this, this place, it's going to be one day and somehow it becomes really popular and we build this one in the world. In fact, you don't know, there's a bit of story about this place. I don't really go to detail on how you build it, blah, blah, blah. But um, just simple thing. Um about this building. It actually is surrounded by the canal, which is the river, um, to uh, to balance this place because as long as the water is sustained like surrounding area, this place becomes stable. And you probably have seen some of the other temples and sort of stuff along this area, but most of them wrecked because this one's built in the i don't know the 12 centuries i'm not sure um but it still remained like you know pretty much almost exactly the same the way it was besides you know some buildings have been wrecked during the war but besides that everything is absolutely fine and um yeah Let's get on it together. So, everything is built by like stones and handmade, all of these buildings. And then, um, and the way it works is like they're facing to the east, which is. I don't know how they, they make it really amazing and they work on the solar um, cliff as well sometimes when you can get like a very beautiful like photo shot um, from the uh, the lake ahead of it which people millions of millions of people try to get in and try to aim to get into like the most beautiful spot to get the picture which is 
five towers on top of these temples and you can actually get the perfect shot with the nice weather, nice beautiful cloud right in it. Um, yeah. So, and they've got like huge garden here, you can see massive space for people to walk around. If you think back to, let's say, 12 centuries, you've seen many like wooden houses, wooden buildings around this area because this is one of the most holiest places um, where I don't know that they build it for king or build it for um, loyals or build it for God but um, many stories they build a king live here or they dedicate to God and stuff so I'm pretty sure that the story that you can find yourself on the internet but I'm not a tour guy so I'm just like here coming here to express it. my um you know my proudness of my um city but yeah so this place is absolutely wonderful and i really enjoyed it and um well you know what this is the um open opening videos and i don't really get into detail get into the buildings but i will do two shots today one is just walking behind um, to the front and then another one is just try to get myself into the temple, into the buildings and maybe walk around for a bit and just do like, just a regular shot and um, maybe it's a little bit detail if, if I am aware of it, if not, I'm just going to show you what's it like and um, if, you are, if you feel like you want to come here you're more than welcome, but yeah. Get into this one now. And so what you would actually do, people usually come from the other side, which is the main entrance. But yeah, I managed to get from the other side, which is fine, because I knew it's gonna be crowded anyway. Um, it's actually six o'clock at the moment, and you can actually see hundreds of people right behind me which is i'm quite privileged because i can actually walk always from the back here and then now <laughs> back to the crowd all right so i'm gonna finish the video and do like a front shot video get into the buildings and then we'll do about maybe 15 minutes and then head off i'll see you in the next video bye bye